Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today we are talking about the top five things that you need to know if you are coming here to Fort Meade. So whether you are a military uh, person PCSing here to the area or you're a civilian worker coming here to work at Fort Meade, we're gonna cover it all as far as the important things that you need to know here about the area right now. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to the Living in Maryland channel where we discuss all things living here in the great state of Maryland. So if that's the kind of information that you are looking for, then you are definitely in the right spot and we really, really appreciate you being here. And if you are thinking about making a move here to Maryland, if you're wondering whether purchasing a home is the right move for you and your family, I am a licensed realtor here in the state of Maryland and we absolutely love having conversations around home purchasing and kind of the logistics and what that looks like and if it's the best move for you. So however you feel most comfortable reaching out, whether that's by phone, text, or email days, nights, and weekends. We've got your back when moving here to the great state of Maryland. All right, so first thing I want to mention here is the cost of living, specifically uh, the cost of home prices here in Maryland. So when you start looking and kind of breaking down the overall cost of living in Maryland, it does become very expensive. When you start looking at our tax, uh, you know, our taxes, um, especially state income tax, and then when you throw into the mix, uh, the cost of homes, it does become a pretty expensive area. Now, if you are a military member coming here and you're coming from different parts of the country, maybe from the South or the Midwest, you will notice your BAH here, uh, you know, jump up significantly. Um, but you're also gonna notice when you start looking at home prices as to why that is. So uh, when you start looking around, you know, your typical uh, town home in the greater Fort Meade area um, is gonna be at least, you know, in the 350 and up range. Um, a lot of them are going to jump into the 400 range and then your single families are usually going to start at a minimum around 500 and then go on up from there. So um, being prepared for the cost of living, especially home prices, is something to be prepared for and something to expect and can kind of help ease the blow uh, when you start planning your move here to the Fort Meade area. Now, when it comes to home prices, it's hard to give, uh, you know, specifics and, and averages can be a little misleading. Home prices can vary a lot. If you're talking north of Fort Meade, you're talking more of a market tied to Baltimore. If you're talking south of Fort Meade, you're going to get more into kind of the greater D.C. market. Um, and then schools can, can you know, vary when it comes to ratings uh, here in the area. So if you want to talk about specific areas, if you want to get more specifics in regards to home prices, feel free to reach out anytime. All right, number two thing to be aware of is the weather here in Maryland. Um, so I'm from Southern California originally, so moving here uh, about eight years ago, uh, my wife grew up here. Uh, she's a local, so we've been here about eight years now, raising our two kids and our family here, calling it home for the long haul. Um, but it was definitely a big shock. It was, you know, coming from Southern California, the weather was a lot different here. Um, but I have to say it's, you know, it's, I think it's kind of the best of kind of both worlds when it comes to pretty mild weather and then getting to experience all four seasons. So Maryland really does have it all when it comes to all the seasons. We have a ton of trees here, so fall is beautiful, spring is beautiful, and you get to experience a little bit of winter in there as well. And, and our winters can range from getting a couple snowstorms each year um, to really getting almost none at all. So this past winter, uh, we did not get a single snow that really stuck. We had a couple, you know, maybe half, one inches that were gone in 24 hours. Um, but nothing significant. Now, my first winter here um, seven years ago was, so that was the winter of 2016. Uh, January of 2016, we got a three and a half footer, shut down schools for a week. Um, and my wife, she's a teacher, she was off for a full week. So it was, it was pretty crazy. We haven't had anything that bad since. Um, but it can really vary year to year. So, um, but overall, most winters are pretty mild here in Maryland. Um, and then the falls and springs are beautiful. Summer does get hot. Um, so that's something to you know be prepared for. Um, here in Maryland, we're kind of stuck in the middle between being kind of part of the South and then kind of being part of the Northeast. Um, but you do get a little bit of that Southern mugginess, but not anything um, like further South into Florida or anything like that. So uh, we have a good bit of mosquitoes, but it's not really anything too crazy when it comes to summer. But the heat can be definitely uh, you know, real and something to, to prepare for. You see a lot more screened in porches here than I've seen on the West Coast. So people kind of protecting themselves from the bugs. Um, and from that stuff that comes with summer. So uh, being prepared for all that can be helpful as well. All right, number three thing to be prepared for is the limited public transportation here in Maryland. So what I tell people, I've gotten you know several calls um, over the last year or two, you know, people asking about, you know, what's it look like with public transportation? Do I need a car to live there if I'm working at Fort Meade? Um, and really, uh, the short answer is yes. This is uh, to live in this area. It's a very drivable area. Like you have to have a car to, to really be able to get around. Now, you do have access to the Mark train, which can get you down to D.C. It can get you into Baltimore, um, which is definitely nice. But it's not something that's 
uh, super, super accessible. You don't see a ton of public transportation in the area. So if you are wondering if you're gonna need a car here when you're coming to Fort Meade, Maryland, I would say the answer is yes. All right, number four is that Fort Meade is very centrally located. It's close to a lot of different things. So there's a lot of different things to do, whether you're a single person, whether you're a family person, um, there's so much to do uh, You know, within 25 to 30 minutes of Fort Meade. So if you kind of picture a triangle, right? This is kind of how I have been thinking about it, is you've got Fort Meade kind of at the, ba the middle base of the triangle, and then you've got Baltimore to the north, DC to the south, and at the tip of the triangle, you got Annapolis, okay? So that kind of the DC, Baltimore, Annapolis, kind of that triangle there, everything is within 35 to 40 minutes. Uh, Annapolis is a little less, but you have so much to do. Those two metros of Baltimore and DC, so close, such a short drive. And then you've got Annapolis, the capital of Maryland, where you've got access to the, uh, you know, the, the Chesapeake Bay. You've got great restaurants, great downtown scene down there, um, and so much to do between those three areas and such a short drive. So uh, if you're coming to Fort Meade, uh, you know, you don't have to worry about things to do. You don't have to worry about having access. Um, to shopping, to really good restaurants, and to a lot of fun things to do. Um, you're definitely gonna have that covered here at Fort Meade. And then just a little bonus as far as things to do and being close to things in Fort Meade is Columbia. Columbia is only about 25 minutes away. It's been a huge um, and a big growing area over the last, uh, I'd say, you know, 10 to 15 years. Um, it's got a really, you know, expansive kind of downtown area. It's super, um, I would say it's definitely, you know, really suburban, but they've really grown the urban kind of downtown part of Columbia. Um, so it's, you know, kind of a, an extension of Baltimore. It's about 20, 25 minutes out from Baltimore and it is a suburb of Baltimore, um, but it's pretty centrally located between DC as well. Um, and it's just got a lot to do. So, you know, if you want to consider, you know, that as an area to live or just knowing that you have that close by and just a ton of restaurants and a ton of, you know, things to do in Columbia as well, that's also helpful to know. All right, last but not least is I wanna to speak to traffic as far as what to expect when coming here to the Fort Meade general area. Um, so traffic can vary. So if you go north uh, of Fort Meade, northwest specifically, is more kind of Baltimore, Howard County. So depending on where you're gonna live is gonna kind of determine how the traffic's gonna be. So if you're kind of north of Fort Meade, it's not too bad. You're definitely gonna have your typical traffic um, during rush hour. So that's something to you know definitely be aware of. But outside of that, it moves very, very well. Um, nothing really on the weekends, nothing too, you know, late in the evenings or anything like that, you know, in the middle of the day, not really much traffic at all. Now, once you go south of Fort Meade, you start getting into basically DC. So um, you've got a lot of Maryland that kind of straddles DC, uh, you know, Prince George's County, Montgomery County, those kind of areas, even Anne Arundel County kind of, you know, stretches down that way. Um, so the traffic gets a lot worse down there. So if you are going and considering living south of Fort Meade, just be prepared for heavier traffic. So you've got 50 there that cuts uh, east and west uh, and, you know, west into D.C. And then 495 is D.C.'s Beltway, which is, you know, no joke traffic is kind of how I describe it to people. So uh, just being prepared for that. If you are someone who is looking to stay out of traffic, if you don't like messing with that, I would try to stay north of Fort Meade. Um, and that's going to give you the best opportunity to kind of minimize the traffic that is here in Maryland. All right, everyone, that's what I got for you today. If you ever have any questions about moving here to the area, please feel free to reach out anytime and we will see you at the next video.